All right, now we're doing 7Q, the coupon code. This is by Yafi1, and 80%, excuse me, 84% of the people like it. Uh, our online store likes to give out coupons for special occasions. Some customers try to cheat the system by entering invalid codes or using expired coupons. Our mission is to write a function called check coupon, which verifies that a coupon code is valid and not expired. A coupon is no more valid on the day after the expiration date. All dates will be passed as strings in the format month, day, year. All right. So basically, on this one, we're going to return, and I mean it's pointless to even try a one-liner on this. I'll show you why, uh, or you've, you know, I'll show you why. Uh, so basically, we're going to say entered code right here. We're going to take care of this first and foremost. Entered code. And since it has to be, it's a coupon code, we're going to need it to be exactly the same as the correct code. All right? No, no two equal signs on this one. All right? And also, we're going to need this current date to be less than this expiration date. Now, how do we do that? For that, we're going to use this date.parse. This date.parse meth parse method parses a string representation of a date and returns the number of milliseconds since January 1st, 1970 uh, at midnight, UTC or NAN if it's unrecognizable. In some cases, uh, or in some cases, contains illegal date values like this one, all right? So, like it says, the number of milliseconds. So we're just going to compare the number of milliseconds this one is uh, against this one. So we're going to say, what was it? Date.parse? Date.parse. Current date. Alright. Throw that in there. And that needs to be less than or equal to date.parse with the uh, expiration date. Alright, let's test it out. Good. Attempt it. Great. One millisecond on this one. We've also got another method we can use. We can use this uh, date constructor. The date constructor creates a JavaScript date instance that represents a single moment in time in the platform independent format. It, uh, the date objects, date objects contain a number that represents milliseconds since January 1st, 1970. So just like the other one. So we're just going to change this and call it new. No, that's not new. New date all right I'm gonna take this put it over here and test it out look it's the same thing attempt it and this one is two milliseconds oh how slow what a slow method we're gonna put it right back on yeah this gnaw was right right nah d <laughs> anyway date dot parse that's where we're at. Uh, attempt it. Submit it. All right, very much like this one. Uh, what? What's that? Let's go to my solutions. Right there, best practice. Thousand three of us plus Yafi, Yafi one, and we'll see you next time.